بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مدل له وما يدل فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today we're going to share with you about the most important thing in the teaching of Islam. It's about seeking knowledge. Now, seeking knowledge is an obligation to all Muslims, male and female. And it is the basic human right. Everybody has the right to seek knowledge. Known as Haqqul Ta'lim. Now, when we talk about knowledge, please remember to have the right adab, the right yeah, manners in seeking knowledge. First, I want to remind all the good brothers and sisters, wherever you are, when Islam talks about ilm, is what Allah said in the Quran and what the Prophet said taught us in his sunnah. That is called pure knowledge, not opinion, feeling, what the majority said, no. Now, the first adab in seeking knowledge, we have three adab, but the first one I'd like to share with all of you is the intention. Our Prophet ﷺ have reminded us, the first hadith in Sayyid Bakr, إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِنْيَةِ from Amiru Mu'minin. And we have seen Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu an. He said that I heard the Prophet say, "Samitu Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam yaqul, inna mal a'mal lubinya, wa inna malikul limbi ma nawa ila akhirah." Indeed, every action, whatever we do, deeds, the first thing is your intention. If your intention is for Allah. Allah make it easy. Because there's a saying from the Prophet, a lot of people will seek knowledge not for the right intention. One of the signs of Alamatul Qiyamal Asugra is people are seeking religious knowledge, but not for religious intention, not to get closer to Allah. The intention is to just have knowledge for the sake of knowledge, and then to tell people, I have qualified from this and that, from Sharia, from all this teaching, and then later on, they themselves don't even believe in it sometimes. Surprising sometimes today, in the world today, you have Muslim who is going to be a PhD, uh, and they are learning from a non-Muslim in the West. The one that is going to say that you are qualified yeah, for a PhD, is a not yet Muslim sometimes. Now, how can you learn ilm with people who don't even believe about what Allah and the Prophet said? So first adapt, your intention must be clear. So when your intention is clear, you must also remember your seeking of knowledge is not to make you proud and be judgmental to others, but is to make you humble and teach you how to communicate with Allah. The first important knowledge is knowing our Creator. And that is also you must have the right adapt. How to know Him? After knowing Him, how is your adapt towards Him? If you read about knowing the Prophet, okay, after knowing the Prophet, what is your adapt? Are you going to put your opinion ahead from the saying of the Prophet? Example, when you talk to people. So everything has an adapt, adapt towards Allah, adapt towards the Prophet, even our adapt towards the Quran, our adapt to the angel, all the arkanu iman is linked with adapt. So may Allah Rabbul Alamin make it easy for us to have the right intention so that we do not overconfident and after having some knowledge, we become judgmental and starting to judge others. So, a true knowledge will make you a humble person, 
true knowledge will guide you and make you closer to Allah Rabbul Alameen and make all of us a better Muslim. May Allah guide us, may Allah give us the right adab about seeking al-ilm known as the knowledge of Allah and the Prophet Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen Allah Muzidna Ilman Nafi May Allah increase in us knowledge that benefit us Wa A'udhu Bika Min Illa Yanfa And may Allah protect us from knowledge that do not benefit us Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Muhammad Wa Ala Alihi Wa Sallallahu Wa Alhamdulillah Bil Alameen Subhanakallahum Wa Bihamdik Ashadu An La Ilaha Ilaha Anta Astaghfirullah Wa Atubu Alaihi Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh